try our best to hang in there and make the best of our last day on the Carnival Valley. Today is our last day at sea. Tomorrow is dis disembarkation day. And we had so much fun yesterday at Mr. Sancho's that uh, we got back to the ship and we were whooped. I needed a long night of rest. Been partying hard on the Carnival Valor. We've been partying hard. We have a lot to do because there's a lot of things that we have not seen on the ship. We've not even hit up a buffet. Like I said, if you've seen this channel before, you know we are not foodies. So. Today, we might turn into foodies. Fatten this guy up, right here. We're fattening him up. I think today's gonna be good. I don't know, Brandy's like getting sick or something. She's losing her damn voice. I think maybe she swallowed too much seawater yesterday. I don't know what happened. I think she was drinking the ocean water. You're not supposed to do that, people. I don't recommend it. And don't open your eyes in the water. It hurts, it burns. Oh, it hurts so bad, oh. I've marked all these little things on my planner that I want to do today, or at least try to do, and I marked them double. I double marked some of the things that we do because just in case we miss them, then I got it marked for the next time. Spent way too much time in the stateroom. I'm gonna wake her up, I'm gonna wake her up. All day long. Wake up. Wake up. I'm awake. I was fine when I first woke up. Then once I stood up, I was like, whoa. Let me see your patch. Does that give you energy when you get those on? No. no. <laughs> the buffet, it is a small buffet. Now we did not eat at the buffet for dinner. Laura, fruity. She's always fruiting it up. <laughs> fruity, I'm fruity. You are fruity. We ate at the breakfast. Buffet finally on our very last day here. There's a little deli over here that looks like it'd be a cool spot for lunches. What is it called? Carnival Deli. Carnival Deli. Carnival Deli. <laughs> the breakfast buffet was what you would expect. People always ask us, how was the food? My reply is almost always, it was a buffet. I don't think people are cruising for the buffet. They're great if you want something fast with a variety where you can fill up and dip out. I usually just load my plate with all kinds of random stuff. We never visited during lunch or dinner, so we can't comment on how the buffet was during those hours. Blue. The guana and tuna, they have breakfast burritos at breakfast time, and then during lunch they have other burritos. The breakfast burrito at the Blue Iguana, delicious. That was my favorite restaurant. I like this better than the buffet. Me and Brandy meant to get one burrito, ended up getting two burritos, because <laughs> we were both standing in line. And you know what, I'm just gonna eat the whole thing too, because it looks delicious. Mm. She just ate breakfast at the back of the ship right now. Nice and calm back here. There's a lot that's kind of happening today, so we are going to two t-shirts for a $20 sale at the shops, so we're gonna check that out at 10 o'clock. There's $5,000 bingo. I'm gonna go play some more bingo. Go win me some money, pay for my cruise. Comedy club, we're gonna hit that up today. There is an outdoor party today. They're gonna do like a New Year's party since we didn't cruise over New Year's. They're gonna have one tonight. I'm gonna go down that water slide today. If you can't tell, my voice was a little gone. From partying hard in Cozumel yesterday. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's coming back, little by little. Which way are we going? That way? The way they do their pictures here is very time consuming and it is the biggest con that I have found on this ship. On the Norwegian breakaway, they asked your room number every time you got your picture taken, so it would go, they put all of your, printed out all of your pictures, put it in an envelope. You go pick up your envelope by room number, and then all of your pictures are in there. Here, you have to go to different sections and just look on the scavenger hunt, trying to find your face, and then all your pictures from that photo session are behind that. But that's just that one nice specific photographer, so then you have to go to a different time of day and find your other picture. It's so bizarre. We're gonna go hang out on the pool deck for a little bit and enjoy some sun because after today it's gonna be a while before I get to be out enjoying some warm sunshine. I'm gonna miss it. Where we live it's very wintry. Today was a lot of fun. It was a lot warmer than what we thought it was gonna be today so um, it was yeah it was unexpected 80 degree weather today so that was pretty nice. I thought it was fun. 
We are getting ready to go down the oh, water, water slide. slide. Oh, suck it up, Buttercup. The water slide was kind of slow, but like you can't you can't expect Kalahari type water slides. But no, it was fun. When you're in the slide, or like right before you go off the slide, you can see it's a beautiful view because you can see like the whole entire top of the boat plus all of the ocean in the background. Chocolate cheesecake and coffee cake. So we stayed outside most of the day. We laid in the sun, had lunch out there. Um, and then we played bingo to try to win five thousand dollars. We're playing bingo. Do you need to cover your car? Five thousand dollars. Nine balls cold or less. We're gonna win that money. Cora, what do you think our odds of winning are? Really low. One hundred and thirty percent. Eat it. Something is grimly. Eco friendly. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. If you have it, give me a oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna win that money. All five. Bingo. 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 What? That Didn't win bingo. <laughs> hey Desmond, if you want to give that bingo away, I'll take it. <laughs> we didn't leave with any bingo winnings, but we did score at the Carnival Deli. Another great spot to pick up lunch on the ship that we had overlooked. We didn't eat at the additional cost restaurants like the Seafood Shack and the Steakhouse, but they both looked delicious. Is that good? Very good. Getting the sunset on the last last night here on the Carnival Valor. Absolutely beautiful. Have you ever seen that? I like that before. One thing that we enjoy the most about cruising, you can see the sunrise and the sunset all in one day. Like, depending on where you're at on the ship. Just be on the right side of the ship at the right time and you can catch it. Well, you love to see it. It was a pretty relaxed day. So far, I really like this cruise. It's really family friendly. I mean, there are some things like the nightclub and stuff that you have to be 18 and over to get into, but they even have like a, a kids section where you can drop your kids off and go do stuff. Like if you have little ones. We should've just dropped you off there and went to the nightclub. No, I said little ones. <laughs> it's been a fun cruise. They have a lot of stuff to do on this ship. Yeah, lots of fun things to do, fun activities. I definitely recommend the Carnival Valor. Alchemy Bar, one of our favorites on the Carnival Valor. Spicy chipotle pineapple martini. I mean, it's just a pineapple martini with a little bit of spice kick to it in the end. It's delicious. Jesus. <sighs> That's how I enjoy my martini. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great picture. You got wallets. Four, they were free. How drunk were we last oh, night? Oh, <laughs> four free wallets, it was so special. <laughs> we print pictures out and then they stay in envelopes for years on time before they ever make it into. No, but the next ones I'm gonna print and make. Before they would ever make it into a frame. One day we're gonna hang those photos up from 10 years ago. Yep. Even though it is a little bit of an older ship, it is a beautiful ship. I mean, it's not super old, but it's getting up there. It's no child anymore, that's for sure. It's moved on up into adulthood. For first time cruisers, it's a good starter ship for sure. We went on one other sail. We're still newbies at this point. So we were just looking at it at the eyes of a new sailor. I don't know, are we sailors? Cruisers. We're cruisers. It's a sad night, because it's our last night, but I'm ready to go home and see our little guy. This trip has been pretty awesome. The entertainment's been pretty good. The staff here is amazing. The housekeeper, so sweet. He knew my first and last name in the hallway. Wonderful person, he's right there. I called his extension, and he literally knocked on my door two seconds later. I wasn't even done calling him yet. The bubbles package. 
I would never purchase that again. It does not include water. Her bubbles package only included pop and juice. Nothing else. So I think that that needs to include water. I think the state rooms are nice. Older looking, but they're nice. The food's been good. We have ate at the main dining hall every night. It's a nice little sit down dinner. And the breakfast. servers are great. Cozumel has a beautiful port. Cozumel was a blast. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. We've had great weather this trip, which is crazy because we were not expecting that at all. James gave me a lot of crap for uh, booking this for January. Never know in January. It was great. Do I got something in my teeth? I don't think we're gonna be able to do everything on this ship. I was worried about not having enough to do and it being boring, but that's not the case. So tonight, we're gonna go out and try to experience everything that we can and get the best out of this ship. I don't even think we're gonna be able to do it all. There'll probably be more cruises that we'll be on. Eventually, me and Brandy will be uh, experienced cruisers and we'll know what we're talking about because we really, we're really just newbies. It's hard for me to summarize the whole stay right now because it's not over yet. Tonight, we're gonna go out and try to check out some of the entertainment that we have not hit up yet on this ship. Cora's been wanting this cherry cheesecake or strawberry cheesecake from the Java shop. They have some delicious looking desserts. We just sat down at the Ivano Theater. They had America's Rocks as the entertainment this evening with the entertainment crew over there. It was pretty good. They did a great job. It is unfortunate for COVID because I think that that's why they had all the chairs like six feet apart. All right, so these guys are like sitting on bar stools. I'm assuming because of COVID, but still kind of silly. Nobody was really close to each other. All the band was like, the drummer was encased. I made a joke that maybe he had COVID and they had quarantined him into his box. Overall, it was good. I would check it out. It's a great show. So the last cruise had a set an epic New Year's party and it was so much fun they wanted to do it again. The New Year's party was fun. They gave out like styrofoam little glow sticks and we had like a fake countdown to New Year's but we didn't get to really do much for New Year's because I worked New Year's Eve and Cora did too. It was kind of cool. So it was it was kind of cool to celebrate a fake New Year so we had a good time. My favorite part of the day was the party on Lido deck. I like that they they show you dance moves so like they play songs and they'll be like okay well this is the dance to this song and then they'll do the dance well they'll like teach you the dance real quick first and then you do the dance and like they play the music and you everyone dances to it I thought that was a lot of fun and there's like disco lights and the music's really loud and I don't know it's it's fun it's really cool and then when you look up there's like the sky and the ocean so I don't know I thought it was pretty cool six, seven, six, five, went to the comedy club caught maybe like the last 10 minutes or so of that show and comedian was a little preachy more than funny that's hit or miss though right you get the comedians on the ships sometimes they're just not funny it happens but there's this guy named gustavo at the piano bar he was killing it I like that guy had me laughing so hard. The piano bar, that was the best entertainment on the boat. I also liked the piano bar because that was pretty cool. The piano bar was, you know, the small little room and the comedy club was like gigantic. You should have gave the giant room to the piano guy. Not only was he a talented musician, but great entertainer. The walk of shame. It's raining. Oh my gosh, it's cold. We got to try the pizza last night. Not too bad. It's like a real thin crust style pizza. I ordered pepperoni pizza. It's good. They forgot the cheese. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> the sauce is very uh, italian -y. Yeah, mother It's got that little spice. It's good. I'm not even hungry. We hadn't tried the pizza. I was really excited about 24-hour pizza because I'm a late-night snacker when I'm on vacation. They have like four or five different kinds of pizza down there. Very quickly, things went from being like party atmosphere to nothing and everything was dead. It was really ironic for us to see the Norwegian breakaway pass us because that was our first cruise ever that we did. It was two years ago. That was before COVID. And then we're seeing the Norwegian breakaway from a distance at night. And we'd actually never even seen that view of the no, breakaway. So to me, it was kind of cool. 
It's yeah, like it's a pretty ship. I think there's something that comes with being on these ships too that what people like about cruising and I'm starting to understand it too. What is it about cruising that you like or don't like? Whatever. Put it down in the comments below. Here we are. Last day. There are people leaving the ship now. I had a hell of a time on this cruise. It was fun. I haven't been on enough cruise ships to really point out too many flaws. I would recommend this ship. There are cooler ships out there for sure that have cooler swimming pools and stuff like that, Lido decks. This was a great trip and I think it's gonna be a great series. I don't really know what I learned. I didn't, did I learn anything? I think I'm gonna have to put the videos together to really learn it. We met a lot of cool people. Tried frog legs for the first time and all my life I never had frog legs up until this cruise. They really do taste like chicken. Uh, what else? The food was pretty much what I was expecting. We had good food in the dining area. Nothing fancy, but delicious. I mean, we didn't get to hit up everything. I miss the blue waters already. I miss them. I miss the blue waters. That's what we got now. I'm thinking about staying on the boat. I told the waiter last night at dinner, I said, that I wasn't gonna get off the ship today. I was just gonna hide. He said he could hide me in his room, but I was gonna have to be his maid. <laughs> The Carnival Valor was a beautifully ugly ship. By that I mean some of the heroic decor was ugly, but also necessary because it's what gave the Valor its unique character. We enjoyed our first Carnival cruise experience. Carnival provides a fun, casual atmosphere that we appreciated. We were leaving the ship, saw so many things that I didn't see while we were on the ship. There was like this beer station where you could pour your own beer. Never saw that till today. Never saw the little computer room. We've been walking past it this whole time. Saw it on the way out. <sighs> this goes to show you that you can go on a four day cruise. I think you've seen it all. Still didn't get to see the whole ship. This vacation changed the way we looked at cruising. Before this, we weren't sure how we felt about it. A vacation's what you make of it anyway. Just go into it with an open mind, let loose, and have fun. We've been doing the all-inclusive resort thing, and now we get to mix in some cruising. We decided that the next time we cruised, we would take both kids. But our next adventure would not be a cruise. On our next vacation, we'd leave the kids at home and go back to where these vacation vlogs all started, in Cancun, Mexico. Yeah, uh, yeah. We yeah no we're really high harnesses. in the air. We have no safety harnesses. <laughs> it was there that we would record our greatest travel vlog series to date. I think. Tequila! Tap the like and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss when we post the next one. Yeah.